All right. Today, IC Universe tweeted saying after the Korean Galaxy S24 series firmware was pushed, a serious bug was found which led to the suspension of the push plan in all other countries including China. Which means now the One UI 7 stable version release has been paused. And then ICE also has tweeted the reason why this has been paused. He says the reason for the delay in the Galaxy S24 push is that users of the official version of One UI 7 of the Korean S24 series found that they could not be unlocked normally in some cases. Samsung urgently reviewed the firmware withdrawal in other countries. So perhaps because of this bug, Samsung has halted the One UI 7 stable release across the globe. If you have already received it in your country, you are lucky. I believe you will be able to continue using One UI 7. But if a device was carrier locked or if you haven't received the stable version yet in your country, then this will get further delayed. India and China have been waiting for the stable release of One UI 7 all this while and we were expecting it today but then came this bad news. So we do not really know how long this pause will continue. Samsung will probably have to review the uh, firmware again for all the countries and then find out that bug and rectify it and then release the stable version across the globe which might take a few more days. So at the moment there is no confirmed dates. We will have to wait and see until Samsung officially confirms the future dates or we'll have to wait and see if there is any new firmware updated on their servers or we'll have to wait until the update starts rolling out. Those are the only ways we can get to know the future dates. So let's wait and see that. Now, if you remember, Samsung did share the One UI 7 rollout schedule for all different devices on Samsung Newsroom Vietnam. I did share that in my previous video, but now they have taken that page also down. Now, we don't see this article anymore on the Samsung Vietnam website. And maybe they have taken this down because of the specific bug and Samsung would have instructed Samsung Vietnam to take that article down. So we don't see this confirmed schedule for the various different Samsung phone models in Vietnam to get the updates. Looking at that article, we were expecting the update to arrive on uh, more or less all the latest Samsung Galaxy S series, Z series phones in this month itself. But now things have changed. We can't really do much about this. Now, if that bug is serious, then of course Samsung will have to review it and re-release the stable version for all the countries. I will keep you guys posted about the future developments. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now there is another bad news for the Galaxy S25 Ultra users out there. Some of the S25 Ultra users have posted on X and Reddit saying that their phone's camera is vibrating and making some kind of noise, the stuttering noise, specifically while using the ultra wide camera. Now if you remember, Samsung has introduced a brand new sensor with 50 megapixels for the ultra wide on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now apparently this sensor is causing some issues on the phone. I did check this on my S25 Ultra. I do hear a bit of vibration while switching from the main lens to ultra wide lens but I don't have any issues on the viewfinder. The images look fine and the videos also look fine on the S25 Ultra but I do hear that slight stutter noise while switching between these two lenses. But I never noticed it until I saw this article on Sam Mobile. I think we'll only be able to notice this if we see any issue on the viewfinder. If the vibration is seen on the viewfinder then it is very easy to know this but otherwise I really could not hear any vibrating noise until now and now when I keep my phone's camera close to my ears and switch between the lenses then yes I do hear that vibrating noise. I'm not really sure whether this was before as well before the latest security patch we got or did this start happening after the latest security patch. I'm not very sure and I can really ignore this. I don't see any issues as long as the images and video recording is perfectly fine. You guys let me know whether you are facing any issues with respect to the cameras, the ultra wide cameras on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, drop a comment. This is something I wanted to share with you guys. Now, as far as the One UI 7 update is concerned, we are all disappointed. It's really ridiculous from Samsung to not know this particular bug on the update. I think they only got to know after releasing the stable version, but I'm not really sure what were they doing all this while while testing the beta. Now, all of a sudden, on the stable release, they are finding this particular bug because of which they had to pause the update and everybody who has been waiting for this update are disappointed again. I think this year Samsung did mess it up. I never experienced this kind of issues in the past. For the last few years I've been using Samsung Galaxy phones and every year we used to get uh, three different iterations of updates based on Android and I never had any issues. But this year Samsung did change their strategy. They did uh, come up with 
with a brand new operating system which is far more advanced than the previous iterations but this delay has really disappointed a lot of users out there. I hope Samsung resumes the update very soon. I will keep you guys posted about everything so be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you haven't downloaded our wallpaper application Volvers yet go ahead download it. I have just added some brand new desktop wallpapers today. Uh, freemium wallpapers of course you'll have to watch ads to get those wallpapers or you have to subscribe to premium and I have also added some free and premium phone wallpapers on the app today. Go ahead check it out. The link for the app is in the description. Do not forget to rate the app on play store uh, give it a five star i would really appreciate that and that motivates me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys so go ahead rate it on play store and do not forget to hit that like button for this video thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye